What's going on guys, we're back with a brand new video and today we're going to be talking about Jared Dudley and the Los Angeles Lakers. So, uh, we all know Jared Dudley has signed a deal with the Dallas Mavericks to be an assistant coach under head coach Jason Kidd, who he has had previous ties to when he was a member of the Lakers and maybe another time, but when he was a member of the Lakers as a player, Jason Kidd was an assistant coach there. And so, Jason Kidd probably knows how important Jared Dudley was to the Lakers and probably knows just how important in the locker room he was and how good of a mentor slash coach he was and will be. So he has been hired as an assistant coach with the Lakers. I mean, with the Mavericks, which is a big deal for the Mavericks. I think it's a very, very big deal for the Mavericks. And um, apparently LeBron James and Anthony Davis and Russell Westbrook are not happy about this. They are not happy with the Lakers. that They were not able to keep Jared Dudley and, uh, LeBron basically said, well, and then the F word, he was like, he, he was not happy. He was not happy that the Mavs were able to swoop him away. The Lakers could have offered him an assistant coach job, not as high up as the one that the Mavericks offered. Jason Kidd gave Jason, or, uh, Jason Kidd gave Jared Dudley a pretty high up level assistant coach job. The Lakers don't have one to offer that's as high up as the one that the Dallas Mavericks were to offer him, but they reportedly did not even offer him an assistant coach job whatsoever. And I think LeBron, Westbrook, and AD would have even been happy if he would have taken up one roster spot. That's how important he is to them. Now, Rajon Rondo is probably coming back to the Lakers. So when you consider that, then you're like, okay, well, maybe they're like, Rajon Rondo is gonna be our Jared Dudley. And for me, yes, that makes sense. And I'm perfectly fine if that's how the Lakers are thinking. They're thinking, okay, well, Rajon Rondo is going to be our Jared Dudley for next season. Then I'm like, okay, okay, that makes sense. Because then you have LeBron, good locker room guy. Anthony Davis, I think, has learned a lot from LeBron. So I think he's probably a pretty good locker room guy now as well. Uh, Westbrook's been around the league. So he, I don't know. He is a temper though. So I, I don't know exactly how he is. But I know Rondo will be a very good coach someday if he wants to be. He will definitely get hired as a coach. So uh, now that LeBron, AD, and Westbrook were unhappy about that, yeah, if they were unhappy about it, that just shows you how much Jared Dudley actually did. Because I know a lot of people are like, well, Jared Dudley was just sat on the bench, just took up a roster spot. No, the Lakers signed him because they needed him. They didn't sign him because, oh, we just signed him to sign him. Why would they do that? That doesn't make sense for them. They did it because they felt like they needed him and he would help them win another championship they felt like he would help their locker room uh and he obviously did because they won a championship him and Quinn Cook were very very good in that locker room in 2020 and sadly they had to wave Quinn Cook to help the better of the team um on the court instead of just in the locker room they were like okay we still got Jared Dudley Jared Dudley ended up tearing his MCL but was still there in the locker room and everything kind of fell apart we all know how it went last season and Jared Dudley didn't end up getting surgery on his knee because he figured if he did, that would be the end of his career, uh, his playing career, which it was anyway uh, that season. But who knows? Maybe the Lakers would have waived him if he wouldn't, if he would have got surgery. I don't know. It's it's tough to tell. But I do think that he's going to be happy with this new role at the Mavericks. I think he's going to be a great assistant coach. And um, man, has he made a great career for himself? He had a very long NBA career where he's going to make a lot of money and he's going to keep making money as an assistant coach with the Mavericks now. And I think he'll get hired to more coaching jobs. Happy for him. Uh, I wish the Lakers could have retained him. I don't know what they're thinking, not offering him one at all, because I think he might've even taken uh, a smaller role with the Lakers just because he probably likes the Lakers so much. feels so comfortable there, but it makes sense that Jason Kidd, someone that has coached him before, offered it to him. Uh, that makes complete sense to me. And I'm not surprised at all that Jared Dudley took this offer. Uh, I think it'll be a great opportunity for Luka Doncic to learn from a veteran player if he accepts the veteran leadership. That's the thing with younger players. They need to accept the veterans telling them what to do because the veterans tend to know best. And I would definitely learn, listen to someone like a Jared Dudley because I do believe that he knows what he's talking about, even though he is a veteran role player. Uh, apparently, those are the players in the NBA that you listen to, like Joe Ingles. 
those type of players that have been around the league that are role players that can sit and watch and just know the game better than even the stars because those role players have had to fight for contracts. It's not like they just get them like stars do. So uh, Jared Dudley's definitely had to fight for NBA contracts. He literally called LeBron and was like, can I come join the Lakers that year, that um, 2020 when the Lakers won the championship, he was on the Nets. And then going into that 2020 season, he called up LeBron and was like, do you want me to be a part of the team? I want to be a part of the team. LeBron said yes. And that is how Jared Dudley ended up on the Lakers. And it really, really was a good idea of LeBron to say yes. And I'm glad that Jared Dudley asked. But Jared Dudley was not given an opportunity by the Lakers. He had to he had to make his own. He had to ask LeBron himself. So that just shows you what kind of guy Jared Dudley is. And um, obviously everyone respects him because everyone wanted him back everyone wanted him back even jared dudley wanted to come back he said i will come back if the lakers feel they need me so he was really just a team player and one of the most unselfish basketball players you will ever see and he didn't care about the money he just wanted like he wasn't going to get more than veteran minimum prop most likely but he just wanted to help the team he never complained about not playing because he never ever played he knew he was lucky to even be in the nba at all because he he could not he was not an nba player uh skill wise at this point in his career he just he just isn't but um he's on the team just because the lakers are smart they know that what he meant to the lakers what he was able to do for them so yeah jared dudley very important piece the mavericks are lucky to have him good thing that um they were able to snag him too bad for the lakers too bad for lebron ad and westbrook because they all wanted him still there i think that rajon rondo will be the answer and the Lakers need to go out and sign him right away. Um, tomorrow, I believe, is the first day they are able to sign him. So tomorrow they need to go out and sign him. And yeah, let me know if you guys are ready for that because I am ready for that. Rajon Rondo to the Lakers. I'm calling it. It is happening. I don't know what other team he would want to go to. Uh, but come on, Rajon. Come get your third ring. You're, if you have a third ring, you're, you're a lock for a Hall of Famer. I already think you are a lock with two rings and as much stats as you have uh, achievements as you have but there are still people doubting rajon rondo come on rajon come get your third ring come join the lakers welcome home baby i know you're celtic at heart but like come join the celtics enemy in the in the lakers that, that was a weird ending to the video guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave a like subscribe and turn notification bells to all i re really appreciate all of you guys watching the video if you still have stuck around to the end let me know in the comments uh thank you so much for if that if you have and i'll see you guys all later in the next video uh, in the next upload in the next video see you guys later peace out bye